Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's video, we will have the question answer session on microbial growth, nutrition and metabolism. So let's start. The first question is, the first phase of a growth curve of bacteria is option 1 log phase, option 2 lag phase, option 3 death phase, option 4 stationary phase. And the correct option is lag phase. Lag phase is the initial phase in the life of a population of bacteria when the bacterial population are adapting to a new environment before starting log phase of growth or exponential phase of growth. During lag phase, the cells are metabolically active and only the cell size increase. During this phase, the cells are synthesizing the enzymes, cofactors, ribosomes for the cell division to adopt new environmental conditions. Next question. The lag phase of a growth curve will be short or absent when Option 1. The inoculum is from an old culture or one that has been refrigerated. Option 2. Inoculation of a culture into a chemically different medium. Option 3. A young vigorously growing exponential phase culture is transferred to fresh medium of the same composition. Option 4. None of these. And the correct option is a young, vigorously growing exponential phase culture is transferred to fresh medium of the same composition, then the lag phase of growth curve will be short or absent. The lag phase may be quite long if the inoculum is from an old culture or one that has been refrigerated. Inoculation of a culture into a chemically different medium also results in a longer lag phase. The primary metabolites are produced in which growth phase of bacteria? Option 1 idiophase, option 2 trophophase, option 3 lag phase, option 4 death phase. And the correct option is trophophase. Trophophase is the active phase of a growth of a culture of bacteria. Whereas death phase is the point where the living cells stop metabolic function and begin the process of death. During this phase, waste builds up and the nutrient rich media depleted. The next question is Secondary metabolites are produced in which growth phase of bacteria? Option 1 etiophase, Option 2 trophophase, Option 3 lag phase, Option 4 death phase. And the correct option is etiophase. Idiophase is the late growth phase of bacterial culture as the exponential growth phase of bacteria ceases that is as the trophophase ends they enter the idiophase. The microbial secondary metabolites are low molecular weight products of secondary metabolism. Example toxins, gibberellins, alkaloids, antibiotics. Next question. The main product of glycolysis under aerobic condition is option 1 pyruvate, option 2 lactate, Option 3 ethanol, option 4 none of these and the correct option is pyruvate. Glycolysis is the metabolic pathway that converts glucose to pyruvate. This is the sequence of 10 reactions catalyzed by enzymes. In this process, two molecules of pyruvate, two molecules of ATP, two molecules of NADH are produced. The net reaction of glycolysis is glucose plus 2 NAD plus 2 ADP plus 2 PI. Inorganic phosphate produced 2 pyruvate, 2 NADH, 2 H plus, 2 ATP, 2 molecules of hydrogen. Water. The non protein moiety of an enzyme is known as option 1 holoenzyme, option 2 apoenzyme, option 3 coenzyme, option 4 is proenzyme, and the correct option is coenzyme. Examples of core enzymes are NAD, NADP, FAD, etc. The protein part of an enzyme is called apoenzyme. The apoenzyme plus coenzyme or prosthetic group is called holoenzyme. Proenzyme is the inactive form of an enzyme. It is biologically inactive substance which is metabolized into an active enzyme. Next question. Cofactor is in a biochemical re reactions are two types that are Option 1 holoenzyme and apoenzyme, option 2 apoenzyme and coenzyme, 
ऑप्शन थ्री को एंजाइम एंड प्रो एंजाइम ऑप्शन फोर प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप एंड को एंजाइम एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप एंड को एंजाइम को फैक्टर्स कैन बी आई दैट इन ऑर्गेनिक मेटल आय और स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिकुल्स प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप कैन बी आई दैट अ स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिकुल्स और मेटल आयन दैट इज टाइटली बाउंड टू द एंजाइम आईदर बाय कोवेलेंट और नॉन कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड को एंजाइम इज अ स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिकुल्स दैट बाउंड टू द एंजाइम एंड कैन बी इजिली डिजोसिएटेड ब्लड अगर मीडियम इज ऑप्शन वन एनरिचमेंट मीडियम ऑप्शन टू सिलेक्टिव मीडियम ऑप्शन थ्री डिफरेंशियल मीडियम ऑप्शन फोर बोथ वन एंड टू ऑप्शन ऑप्शन फाइव इज बोथ वन एंड थ्री एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बोथ वन एंड थ्री दैट इज ब्लड अगर इज अ मीडियम दैट इज एनरिचमेंट मीडियम एज वेल एज डिफरेंशियल मीडियम ब्लड अगर इज एन एनरिच बैक्टेरियल ग्रोथ मीडियम फैस्टिडियस ऑर्गेनिजम सच एज स्ट्रेप्टोकाई डू नॉट ग्रो वेल ऑन ऑर्डिनरी ग्रोथ मीडिया बट ग्रो ऑन ब्लड अगर इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ ग्रोथ मीडियम विथ स्ट्रिप्टिक सोया अगर बेस इनरिच विथ फाइव परसेंट शिप ब्लांड ब्लांड अगर ऑल्सो इज अ डिफरेंशियल मीडिया बिकॉज थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हिमोलाइसिस और लाइसिंग ऑफ रेड ब्लास्ट सेल्स कैन बी सीन ऑन दिस प्लेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म यूज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एज ए सोल और प्रिंसिपल बायोसेंथेटिक कार्बन सोर्स नोन एज ऑप्शन वन ऑटोट्रोप्स ऑप्शन टू हेटरोट्रोप्स ऑप्शन थ्री इलिथोट्रोप्स ऑप्शन फोर नन ऑफ दिस and the correct option is autotrophs heterotrophs use reduced performed organic molecules from other organism as a carbon source whereas lithotrophs use inorganic molecules as their electron source next question microorganism that use light as energy source are known as option 1 phototrophs option 2 chemotrophs option 3 mesotrophs option 4 oligotrophs and the correct option is phototrophs The photo means the light. Chemotrophs, microorganism used organic oxidation of organic or inorganic compound as their energy source. If the source of energy for bacteria is from chemical compound, they are said to be option one phototrophs, option two autotrophs, option three chemotrophs, option four is oligotrophs, and the correct option is chemotrophs. Oligotrophs are the microorganism that grow in extremely nutritionally deficient condition in which the concentration of organic substances are low. Mixotrophs are also known as option 1 chemolithoheterotrophs, option 2 chemolithoautotrophs, option 3 chemoorganoheterotrophs, option 4 none of these. And the correct option is chemolithoheterotrophs. The chemolithoheterotrophs use reduced or inorganic molecules as their energy and electron source, but derive their carbon from organic sources. Microorganisms involved are nitrifying bacteria, sulfur oxidizing bacteria. Whereas chemolithoautotrophs use oxidized reduced inorganic compounds such as iron, nitrogen, or sulfur molecules to drive. derive both electron in energy source and carbon dioxide as a carbon source microorganisms involved are sulfur oxidizing bacteria hydrogen oxidizing bacteria methanogens iron oxidizing bacteria chemo organo heterotrophs use organic molecules as their energy electron and carbon source Microorganisms involved are most non-photosynthetic microbes including most pathogens fungi many protists and many bacteria Thank you please like share subscribe this channel